This is a bundle of carbon fiber. Each individual fiber you see here is 10 times thinner than human hair. To process them efficiently in an industrial way, we gather them in bundles like this. This fiber is five times sturdier than steel. You cannot break it lengthwise. The carbon fiber comes from the United States to SGL's plant in Lotten, Germany, near the Dutch border. The synthetic material is not only tear resistant, but also heat resistant and very lightweight. That's why SGL is processing more and more carbon fiber for the automobile industry. The fibers are cross-layered and then sewn into mats. So far, SGL has just one machine for this, but the company wants to expand production as soon as the auto industry is ready to make more use of carbon fiber. Carbon fiber has been around a long time, but it's not been used for very long for large-scale technology, like airplane construction, rotor blades, and so on. In automobile manufacturing, it greatly depends on the cost structure. We have to find ways to use machines like this one to process carbon fibers fast, thus reducing the cost pressure on car makers. SGL's primary customer is BMW's Landshut plant. BMW already makes carbon roofs for some models. First, the fiber mats are cut to the desired size and shape. Then they're pre-formed into roofs. The pores that develop when the mats are woven are filled with resin, creating a solid roof. In the future, BMW plans to use carbon fibers in its new electric car, the megacity vehicle. So far, the company has only published a drawing. The idea is that using lightweight carbon fibers will compensate for the battery's additional weight. The space where you sit will consist of up to 100% carbon fiber reinforced plastic, thus making a huge contribution to lightweight construction. So far, few steps in the work procedure have been automated. Much of the work is still done by hand. BMW has several plastics technicians who are familiar with the material. It's versatile and can be used for Formula One or spaceships. And why not cars as well? The whole thing has great potential. But first, BMW has to bring down the costs. As a raw material, carbon is expensive. For now, there's nothing we can do about that. But that's precisely why we founded this joint venture with SGL Carbon. Together, the two companies want to produce carbon fibers in large quantities and thus profit from the economy of scale. And BMW is just now investing 40 million euros to expand its Landshut factory. It plans to manufacture the megacity vehicle in series beginning in 2013.